Hi, we're Bo and Brandy, and this is our Salty Pup Una. This hurricane season, we've been sailing around in the breathtaking Grenadines on our tiny floating home, Sertia. Last week, we left you as we pulled into the postcard view of Salt Whistle Bay in Miro. We decided to put down the cameras for a couple of days and enjoy a little rest and relaxation. Every now and again, we do this to refill our creative tanks. Now that we're all full, we're heading over to one of our Caribbean bucket list anchorages, the Tobago Keys. Good morning, guys. We are running around like our heads are cut off this morning because we were trying to get out of here. And it's not because we're trying to beat the wind because it's too strong today, but on the other hand, it's too light. So if you guys can see at 11 o'clock, it turns to seven knots, a little too light for us. Right now it's 12 knots and it's eight o'clock. Nope, 7.30, so we wanna hurry up and get out of here so we can hopefully not get stuck. We are only going about three nautical miles around the island over to Tobago Keys today. Can't wait. It's supposed to be spectacular diving, it's a park. So having no wind when we get there is gonna be spectacular, but we gotta go now. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, let me raise it up to three to one scope, okay. and then we'll raise the main. Okay. And then we'll have to fall off. Okay. To get out of here. All right. Coffee's ready. I gotta go get behind the helm. Wish us luck on getting over there before the wind dies. <laughs> here the game plan is we got reef over here we got boats over there we got a nice little runway right here I love having really treacherous runways <laughs> <laughs> hey practice makes perfect so I think it'd be best if you just leave the mainsail blown okay. and let the current and wind push us just don't hit the reef don't hit the boats you got this <laughs> You've been through worse. Definitely. I can't wait to get over there. Just Look. let me just let me know if, if you have trouble. Okay. This place that we've been anchored is just amazingly gorgeous. It's so pretty here. I'm hoping that we will be back. Just uh, leave the sail blown. Au revoir. See you over there. You too. Well, that didn't go to plan, but sometimes it doesn't. Things don't always go to plan, but we pivot. We've learned to pivot. 
Brandy does a good job pivoting. I think we got way too much sail up. We thought it was gonna be a lot lighter. So we got a lot of weather helm. But by the time we take it all down and get a new one up, we probably could have gotten there. So just do our best with what we got up. If it was a longer sail, then yeah, we would definitely change it. set we got our sun shades out just in time for the clouds to roll in because we're only gonna be here for a couple of days we want to go check out the coral and see what everybody's talking about they say the grenadines are amazing for snorkeling especially the Tobago Keys this is like a world destination for reef yeah yeah so, but it's also really known for a lot of current. So the slack tide is happening right now, so that means we won't be swept away into the ocean. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're gonna go pick up our friend Ricky and then we're gonna head on out to Horseshoe Reef. Just got back from our dive and pretty impressed. There's a ton of coral and the coral there is huge. Just gonna make a little coconut snack. 
fresh from that last beach we were at. But the fish there were also the biggest fish that we've ever seen. Typically they're, I don't know, they're just, you know, little fish, but like they were twice the size that we're typically used to seeing. Um, so it is, it, we're definitely going back tomorrow. We're gonna go back earlier and do, do more of the outside, like the deeper ledges. Today it was a little shallow. I just really enjoyed the, the coral and just the different structures. Really cool. How'd you like it? It was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. So with the fresh coconut, all I do is take the back end of a big knife, crack it open like you saw, and then I take a butter knife and I kind of just wedge it between the shell and the meat. And you can pretty much just pop it out, just pop out little chunks. You get little bite sizes. You could chop them up, you could shred them, you could put them in the pan, saute them. I like just eating them raw. We're gonna have a little snack, take Una back to shore, hopefully enjoy a nice sunset, and then call it a night. Good morning. It is day two of our dive for the Tobago Keys. The lighting's pretty bright out here. We're gonna dive the outside today. Uh, yesterday we just dove like the inner, what they call the horseshoe. They call it that because if you look from up above an aerial, it's shaped like a horseshoe. <laughs> But we're gonna dive the outside, see if we can't see some more diverse life. But we need to get a move on it because slack tide's right around now and we don't wanna get swept away out to sea. Thank you. Go to shore, miss. She has literally been stepping all over everybody's toes because she's so excited to go to shore. 
Brandy and I just got back from our awesome dive. Adventurous. We drifted the dinghy the entire length of the horseshoe reef. Well, the northern the northern part of the we reef. We did some of the south. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. It was so full of life. So good. It, it This dive was probably the best we've done in the Caribbean. We're taking a short break. We got a little food in our bellies. And we got a little furry thing that we got to take out for a walk. Yep. She can get her afternoon walk. And then we're going to go back out there. Because we're leaving for Beckway tomorrow. And we want to get as much of this in as possible. And you're probably wondering why aren't we staying longer. But it's because of the wind as usual. We would love to stay longer. But as the week progresses, the wind changes direction and we'd be beating into it. Whereas tomorrow is a perfect southeast wind to help drive us back up north to Beckway. And we have to get some boat projects done. Stroke! Together! There you go. Stand up. Dig it deep there, girl. Dig it deep. All right, Dig it you. deep, more. Whoa, you want me to do her side? <laughs> okay, together. The Tobago Keys was definitely on top of our list of places we wanted to visit while sailing the Caribbean. This archipelago includes five small islands and extensive coral reefs. The horseshoe reef that we've been diving the past couple of days protects four of the five keys, Petit Ramu, Petit Bateau, Bardal, and James B and the fifth island that we're visiting today, Petit Tebec, just outside of the reef's protection. This island is also known as Pirate Island. Why? This is where they filmed the scene from Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, where Captain Jack Sparrow and Elizabeth Swan were marooned by Captain Barbosa. That's the second time I've had to watch that man sail away with my ship. After the Tobago Key switched owners throughout the years, in 1960 it finally ended up in the hands of U.S. citizen Nicholas Fuller for a reported $18,000. Then, in 1999, the SVG government purchased the 58 acres for $1,025,000. This price was negotiated down from $6.5 million with the agreement that Tobago Keys would always be protected as a national park. Between here and Myro, we certainly feel as though we are living inside a postcard. One word to describe the Tobago Keys would be epic. It was an awesome two days here. Sad to go, but all good things come to an end. Yeah, we might be back, but we appreciate you guys watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button that way, and the little bell. That way you get notified when the next video comes out. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you to all of our amazing patrons for your extra support. We love all you guys, and you all make this possible. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.